Good morning my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another cosy vlog, your favourite videos. So I've just got ready for the day, I've just popped on plain black leggings, um, a black vest and then this cardigan just because the weather's a little bit strange at the minute. Getting more crisp, I can feel it in the air but like as soon as you're in the sun it's hot so... It's just that annoying weather, but it's fine. I'm feeling comfortable and that's all that matters. So first things first today, me and Bradley are actually gonna go to Harwood to speak about our car. We might be getting a different one. We're not sure yet. We're just gonna kind of speak to them about it all. I need to take back a couple of things from Matalan, which is literally like next door. And then we're gonna go into town and then obviously go into Primark and H&M. They're the main shops that I wanna go in and obviously anywhere else that Bradley wants to go. And I'm just really excited to show you guys like all new in. I cannot wait. My curls have lasted like, th I think this is day three or four, um, and you can see, <laughs> it's just, I don't know how Foxy Looks do it, but they're lasting so well, so I really like how it's like a little bit more effortless. So anyway, I'm going to grab my bag, and then we can head into town, well, kind of, Harwoods first and then town, um, and then I'll keep you guys posted with everything. Good morning, you haven't said hi to the vlog yet. Good morning vlog. How are you feeling? Bradley's feeling sassy tired. today. No, he's, he's sassy. I'm not sassy. You are. Tired. Are you hungry? No, I haven't had a coffee. Ah. Uh, and I'm always a bit funny. Bradley doesn't really coffee. function if he hasn't had a coffee. Yeah, we're gonna go to Harwoods. Should get a brand new range. <laughs> and then, yeah, I need to take back some trousers from Atlanta because I picked up the wrong sizes. Actually, I didn't. The wrong size was on the hanger. You and then, double check. I did double check. I didn't do the double check in. I felt really. Clever, really. I know, but at least it's literally next door. So I'm gonna swap those because I really want to wear those trousers, but they don't fit me in the minute because I'm pregnant. <laughs> and then, yeah, we're gonna go into town. And we need to eat somewhere in between because I'm hungry. And the Hoover is in the background. Background? Background. The Hoover's in the boot because my sister borrowed it. So that's fun. Okay, we've been to Harwood's. And we might look at other cars, mightn't we? Yeah. We might just see. Um, but it's quite a nice day now, so we're gonna go into town, which we are currently. I mean, you can't see it, but this is the back way. We're gonna go into town, and then we're gonna go into Primark and H&M mainly. You wanna have a look at the Zara Kids, don't you? Yeah. Just to have a little look. And then, yeah, where else are we gonna go? Anyway, you wanna go?
Cause I can stay till the morning Stay till the dawn But just hold me now I wanna be so much better Whenever you're around I wanna say something clever To get in your mind Cause right now We're not together And I lose my way then Oh I feel so much better Whenever you're around, whenever you're around, yeah, yeah, whenever you're around, whenever you're around. Maybe I'm not the one that you've been dreaming of. It's now the next day. I'm sorry if you can hear the telly downstairs. Bradley's currently watching football and he has the volume on like 100. <laughs> it's just so loud. But this morning is currently Saturday and we've had a really like slow Saturday. It's been so nice. We never do this. I feel like on the weekend there's like always so much pressure to like do loads and get loads of stuff done and it's always a bit like, ah. Oh. Obviously I'm speaking on behalf of me, Bradley, but we woke up this morning and we were like, should we just have like a chilled slow Saturday. It was his idea and I'm very happy about it. We're gonna go for dinner tonight though at one of our favourite restaurants in Brighton. It's called Donatello's. I mean I'm sure you guys have heard of it. If you've like visited Brighton or you live in Brighton, it's just so affordable. It's the nicest food, the nicest service and they do my favourite salmon pasta ever. It's just my favourite. So we're really excited about that and we wanted to go just to like celebrate Bradley's new job and just to have some like us time. We're really trying to enjoy like more date nights and stuff like that because obviously when the twins come, we know it's gonna be very different. I mean, we're still gonna try and prioritize like us time because I think it's important, but obviously we're just gonna enjoy it as much as we can um, beforehand. I'm using the Elemis Pro Collagen Green Fig Cleansing Balm. Oh my God. <laughs> I never thought, I never thought I'd see the day where something was the same level as the Rose Collagen Cleansing Balm from Elemis. This is like the same level, if not the smell of it. It's just incredible. If you haven't tried it, I'm gonna link it down below for you. It's insane. It's just like a new scent. And I think obviously there's some like different formulas and stuff in there um, for the cleansing balm. But my skin has just been loving it at the minute. So I'm just cleansing my skin. I used my fake tan like serum last night. So I've got a little bit of a tan, which is quite nice. Um, I always like to use that before bed every couple of days. Um, it's from Tan Lux, I'll show you guys in a second. It just, it's such like a nice tan. It's just really easy to apply. It doesn't have that horrible smell. Um, and it's just a product that I know I'm gonna love. And my skin doesn't break out in it. The amount of like face fake tans I've used and my skin has broken out, it's ridiculous. But this is absolutely like amazing for my skin. I love it. So yeah, I don't know if it's because it's more of like a serum base. A lot of like face fake tans have like different formulas and stuff like that. But um, yeah, the one that I use is a serum base and it's insane. I always pop it on my Instagram stories because it's so good. So what I'm gonna do now is get ready. Then I thought I could show you guys some house updates because there's been a lot that's happened that I haven't shown you. So I thought I could do some house updates. And um, I also need to go through like my winter wardrobe and put my summer things away. So I need to do that soon. I just, I'm over this heat. Is anyone else? Oh my God, next week is rain. Like every day. This makes me really happy and the temperature's going down, thank God. Okay, so maybe I can go through that because I think today's the last 
hot day in a while i feel like it's really needed this heat is just it's getting too much now i'm just i'm ready for autumn but anyway i'm gonna get ready for the day and then i'll show you guys my makeup and my outfit of the day and yeah you can come along with us come along with us to date night um, and we can have a lovely saturday okay so i've just got ready for the day um, I've put my hair in a ponytail. I've just got black leggings on and a black vest <laughs> and this Zara cardigan. Honestly, I'm at the point where I just don't really know what to wear. So the best bet for me is just leggings and a vest and then just to kind of put a cardigan or a jumper on. It's just the most comfortable and I feel like you can either like dress it up or dress it down. Like I could put a blaze with this and it'll be a lot more dressy if that makes sense. And I've just done my usual makeup and then I've put my hair in a low ponytail because I just couldn't be bothered to do it today if I'm being completely honest. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been using to tan. Um, and it's this, it's from Tan Lux and it's called Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. They actually sent me this as a bit of like a pregnancy kind of glow up and it's incredible. And then sometimes on days where I want just a natural kind of glow to my skin, um, I'll pop this on. Um, and this is like illuminating kind of drops. And this has actually got SPF 30 and this won't like tan your face. It's like an instant one, if that makes sense. This reminds me of the By Terry CC Serum. So this is like an instant tan um, and this is a gradual tan. And I have been loving these products so much at the minute. And like I said, they're the only products that I've used, especially like face fake tan that haven't broken me out. 10 out of 10, I love it. Okay, I'm a bit backlit, but I have got on my leggings, this vest, and then I've just popped on this cardigan with my coach bag, and we're gonna go out for dinner now. Aren't we, my darling? We are indeed. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Are you hungry? I'm very hungry. Me too. Oh, would you mind filling my bottle up for me? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. <laughs> having a stroll on the beach aren't we? Yeah, very cute stroll. We're gonna go and get an ice cream at Morocco's. Very full stomachs. Very full stomachs. Full bellies. Yeah. You've got a full belly? <laughs> Both got full bellies. Look at the difference Bradley, you look so tired. Yeah, poor son, haven't I? I got an ice cream, Bradley got an espresso. <laughs>
guys it's now the next day um last night was so cute i felt like last night was like the last kind of night of summer that's what it felt like because it is now such a like gloomy and rainy day but it just feels so cozy um this is like the coziest sunday we've had in the longest time and i am loving every single second of it it just feels really nice i'm doing really quick makeup at the minute um, I've cleansed my skin this morning. Basically, we're gonna go to Tesco's, go food shopping. We might look at some more like car dealerships and look at other cars. And um, we're just gonna kind of see how we feel. I have a feeling that we'll go to Tesco's and then <laughs> wanna come home after, but we'll see. I just wanna do like the quickest makeup ever just to wake me up a little bit. I've bought a light, obviously it's not on at the minute, but I've bought a light for this room. Um, to basically like it goes like on top of cameras and stuff so while I'm filming it's like ridiculously bright and I can start using that and then you can actually see me properly because I love this room so much like, I think this is one of my favorite rooms in the house and I know when the twins nursery is going to be done I'm going to say about that room but at the moment I just I love it like the vibe of it it's just so nice and cozy but the lighting isn't the best because there is a small window um, I have bought a light for it. Also, I'm aware I'm wearing a maternity bra, but also a white bra with a black vest. But it's fine because I can't find my black comfy maternity ones. I find these the most comfiest bras to wear since being pregnant. There's something about them. The comfort is just, I can't even explain. It's just so comfortable. So I've been wearing them even though obviously I'm not breastfeeding yet, but they're just so comfy. Like I'm obsessed with them. I'm using these drops as like contour and I love them because you can really sort of build it up and have it as like contour or you can like put it in your foundation or your moisturizer and they just give you the nicest glow. I have a feeling obviously when I'm having <laughs> sleepless nights with twins, it's gonna be hard to kind of like feel more like me and like, get ready and stuff like that but when I do I know I'm going to incorporate these into my routine because I just feel so much more awake and glowy and dewy and I just oh, I love them so much a product I absolutely love using for my cheeks is this it's the benefit tickle but look how much I've used <laughs> I need to get a new one this is like a mixture between a blush and a highlight but it just adds glow to your skin and it makes your skin look really dewy when it isn't. Sometimes I do put a bit too much on and I need to get a powder brush <laughs> and kind of diffuse it a little bit. Sorry, I'm brushing. I'm literally doing like the quickest, we're well, trying to do the quickest makeup ever. And I literally do brows and then put some um, lip product on and then I am done. So if I'm doing really quick makeup and I want my lips just to kind of be a little bit more defined, I'll use my brow pencil because I find that it kind of all matches and like blends together. So I'll line them and then I'll get my finger and I'll kind of diffuse it. So I'll do this and then just diffuse it a little bit. And then I'll get like a lip balm or a lip gloss. This is the Iconic London. I think this is a lip oil. And I'll put a little bit on just to hydrate my lips a little bit. And that's it. <laughs> that's like me literally doing the quickest makeup ever. I mean, my brows don't look the best right now, but. But yeah, this is my really quick, simple makeup. And I feel like as soon as the twins are here, this is what I'm going to be doing <laughs> a lot of. I'm trying to practice and do as many like simple makeup looks as possible just so I can do it. Because when I feel, when I get ready, I just feel so much better okay i've just put my necklace on because i feel naked without it <laughs> i always have to put it on uh, for perfume i'm just going to use the rose gourmand from zara this is such a nice perfume you can see better lighting here but my makeup is just so simple and um, it just makes you feel a lot more like awake um, and then i've literally just got on again black leggings black vest and then i've just popped on this like gym 
kind of jacket because it's just <laughs> it's like a mix between sporty and comfort outfit um, and then I've just bought this bag because it's got my purse in and then a bottle over here I've got three bags actually of my winter stuff and I really need to go through it so I think I might do it later <laughs> I just put things like this off so much and then when I've done it I feel so good but yeah this is a job that needs to be done as well as the twins room but we'll do that soon Okay, this is our very full <laughs> food shop for the week. We've got in three dinners. We've started, I say we've started, this is the first time we've just bought some nappies, just because obviously we need to stock up as much as we can, because we know we're gonna go through so many a day, especially when they're newborn. Things like this are obviously just important. We just thought we're gonna start stocking up now. But yeah, we've got in three dinners. So for dinner tonight, we're gonna have sausage and mash with like red cabbage, kind of like a mini roast. We've got Yorkshire puddings, and um, we've got cauliflower cheese and stuff like that. So that is for tonight's dinner. Tomorrow we're gonna do Indian and then the day after we're gonna do fajitas. So yeah, we've got in three dinners. We've also got in some lunch bits, crumpets, bread and stuff like that. And of course, sweet treats, which I'm very happy about. So now we're gonna put all of this away. It all points right to that. I set myself aside. I can take some stuff up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you're gonna have to take this one. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh. I mean, you've done well. Turn around. <laughs> oh my god. Well. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot in my hands right now. Whoa! <laughs>
Okay, so I'm so out of breath. I swear doing tasks like this for me is like a workout. That's what it feels like. So I wanted to show you guys some house updates at the moment and also I've sorted through my clothes here, my like winter ones, and obviously that's from like last year and years before and stuff like that. I just try to pick out things that are one, gonna be really useful for me and my bump, and um, two, that are gonna be really comfortable, stuff that's really versatile, um, so there is a lot left over, but I'm just gonna pop it in the loft and then if I need anything, because I've looked through it, I can like remember everything that's in there. Um, Bradley said he'll kindly just go upstairs and get it for me. So, I wanted to show you guys some house updates, especially in the bedroom, um, and then also I can show you guys the wardrobes and stuff like that. So obviously it's not tidy because I'm still sorting everything out and I'm gonna wait and do like a full bedroom reveal kind of video but I just wanted to give you guys a little update. This is the stuff that I need to pop in the wash. But over here are our new wardrobes which I'm so happy with. They're the Ikea ones and they're the tallest ones so we've actually got so much space um, and we basically just use three double wardrobes to create this and it's just it's just amazing. It's so nice to have a place to like hang all of our stuff um, and it's just made it the biggest difference. So this is what they look like up close. We've had a little bit of a problem with our previous handles. This is basically completely stuck so we need to get really strong pliers then we can put the normal one back on it's just so annoying i can't believe it's happened but it is what it is so yeah these are our wardrobes the only annoying thing is because we didn't buy an actual corner one if i want to open this wardrobe i do have to open this door but to be honest with you i'm always like looking at everything anyway so i'm always a bit like oh do i need to go in there or there so it's honestly not a big deal and um, i also need to go to ikea and buy like loads of shelves and stuff like that so it's not finished this is just obviously an update so in here is all of my coats and like long cardigans and stuff we're gonna put a shelf at the top and then also i think one or two at the bottom everything in these are like bags and also shoes um but it's just so nice to have everything and like i have a lot of like long cardigans and coats and like trench coats and stuff like that and the fact that they can just like fall and hang really nicely is just perfect um and then this wardrobe in here is like my main wardrobe so we've obviously got like blazers and stuff i've got cozy jumpers i've got like more basic clothes my like, active wear here which is something i've been wearing a lot at the minute because i find it just so comfortable it's really stretchy i had a feeling as soon as i was pregnant i'd wear active wear a lot and i have so yeah more blazers here i've got loads of co-wards over here and then I hang some of my favourite pyjamas um, over there. So it's really nice to obviously just have space. And then I've got another one of those bags over here, which is, I think that one's full of shoes. So yeah, it's very full. I think it looks more full than it is, but there is actually a lot of space. So yeah, this is the next wash load. Oh, I've just, do you know when you like go through all your stuff and you like find things from the previous year and you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy. This was the set from H&M that I think sold out so quickly and I know I'm gonna love wearing it all the time now so I can't wait to wash that and then again little updates but I'm gonna go through that in another video so all of this stuff is things to go upstairs here are some summer bits that I need to pop upstairs as well twins room we're gonna start on our twins room really soon um honestly i cannot wait so yeah this is gonna look very different very soon so in the landing excuse the towels they're just hung there obviously just to dry but straight ahead i put up these curtains now if you guys can see this wall here it obviously like goes in so if we hung a curtain up it would have just been really annoying so what i did and i've done this before actually i don't know if you guys remember in our old bedroom this is actually like a shower curtain so you don't drill it or anything you just twist it I think it's there, look, you twist this bit um, and it expands and then it can just kind of like expands onto each wall and then it's just really good just to hold it still. But it's really handy if you have light curtains like this, as in like the weight of them is really light and then it just makes it look so much nicer and softer. I only put it up yesterday, so the creases in the curtains I'm very aware of. I think I need to go and get my steamer and just kind of go over it and also I want to like trim the bottom. But for now, I'm really happy with it. It just makes this area look so much nicer and like calmer. And then in my beauty room here, I also done the same thing with the curtains. These were the curtains in my old beauty room as well. Um, but this pole, I thought I ordered white, but it actually came black, but I mean, it's fine. But it just makes everything look so much softer. 
um, and I need to cut the bottoms as well. I think on Amazon you can get the iron on things. If you cut it a little bit longer and then you fold the bottom, you can iron on and then it makes a really like seamless seam at the bottom. So I think we need to do that. This is a new coat that I got from Tesco's. I'm so annoyed though because at the moment they're doing 25% off and I could have got 25% off, but it is what it is. It is such a gorgeous trench coat. It's like the perfect fit. Everything about it is amazing. So I really recommend going into Tesco's because their stuff in there at the minute is insane. So yeah, this is my beauty room. Not much has changed recently, to be honest with you. Um, the stuff over here, so I've got my rail here. This is stuff that I need to film with. I wanna film like a new in H&M. Um, obviously this is what I picked up the other day from Primark and H&M as well. I'm gonna film a dedicated, I think Primark, maybe H&M as well, I'm not sure, I'm gonna see. Maybe just a dedicated Primark and then I'll do like a separate H&M one. But I thought I'd show you some of the bits I got for the, but I thought I'd show you some of the bits that I got for the twins because honestly, they are the cutest. So the update in here, we're still gonna get the day bed. We're gonna get the Ikea one. Um, you can see there's a line here. Me and my mum were like measuring it. So it's going to come out like up to there, I think. Um, and it'll be a really nice place, not only for people to stay around, but just to come and like chill. And like even when the babies are here, it's like different scenery. Do you know what I mean? I want this room to be really relaxing. So I'm really excited to like do that and like put a print up here. I think I'll do that print there. But yeah, I think it's gonna look really lovely and just cozy. I honestly can't wait. But let me show you the stuff that I got for the boys because they are just too friggin cute. So first up, I picked up these. They are the cutest thing. Um, I really love the colors. I've actually got these in the beige color that they do, but I really like the color like blues and grays and stuff. I think it looks really nice. I also saw they done matching bottoms. Um, and they're just really reasonable prices, I think. And I really love the quality of them. So, picked up these. Next up, I got this. How cute is this? I'm not a big fan of, like, teddy things usually. But I am so obsessed. And then it comes with little leggings here. I just think this is so cute. Um, I'll try and put links to them down below because that was only £10. And then, like I said, I'm not going to dress them the same all the time because I want them to just be them and, like, different. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, I will on special occasions, but I just, I don't know, I just want them to be, like, them. Um, so I also picked up this two-piece set as well. And then, look, the bottoms are here. And they're just so cute. So this one has little hedgehogs and, like, acorns on, which is so cute. And then this one's got little teddy bears on. How cute is all of this? I honestly can't deal it's just, it's too much, it's just too cute. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get like the same size and things like that, so then I know if one's wearing that, I can also put the other one in this, but I mean, we're having twins, it's gonna be hectic anyway, so. So yeah, but I just thought these are absolutely adorable. I'll try and put links to them down below. <laughs> 